Hello and welcome to, well, this is my very first how-to, to be honest. Um, well, I'm going to show you guys how to properly install Call of Duty War at War custom zombie maps for PC. No, there is no way to do this for free, just saying. But I highly suggest to get the game off of Steam so you don't have to do all of that stuff with, um, if you, if you had gotten the disc version. You have to buy the game, you have to have a legit copy of War, World at War. Uh, the Steam game comes, um, uh, pre-patched, so that's one of the reasons why you should get the Steam version. Plus, Steam is just better, so get the Steam version. Uh, just just get it and ignore this for some reason my game was or my account was left to to um still in this particular game while I was sleeping last night yes last night so um while yeah for like 10 or so hours and I didn't even know it was still running in the background so Stupid old me having to go through frickin' task manager and all that bull crap to um do whatever, so oh well, twenty five hours. I mean I practically pay, played twenty five hours in real life of World at War. That includes my PlayStation three time. Well no, not really, because I've played it longer than that. So eh. Well, at the end, it doesn't really matter. I'm pretty sure that there's no way of doing this on PlayStation 3, so don't expect a how-to on the PlayStation 3 version or the Xbox 360, because I don't own those games on those consoles. Plus, I know for a fact that it's impossible to do, so don't even ask. Um, to answer any other questions, I'm pretty sure this will work on the disc version, but like I said, you have to download the patches, and I th I'm pretty sure you can get those patches from zombiemodding.com. As soon as Firefox opens it, I can go to that said site. So... A couple of things that you'd have to do, of course, if you have the disc version, zombie modding is your best friend. Or at least I'm pretty sure it is zombie modding. Um, yeah, you just go to how to install or whatever. And that's that's basically that. I'm pretty sure it's that. And there's a lot of things to be read. I'm not gonna go through all of this, but um, but there's a lot of things to go over. Um. I don't know, um, I'm pretty sure it is, like, right here somewhere, I don't really know for sure, I, I'm pretty sure it's probably under useful links, if I just go to do useful links, um, yeah, the official Call of Duty War of War update, you just get the updates from here, uh, if you got the disc version, there you go, um, that's really that. So then you'd want to um, you'd want to get a map, and of course you'd have to go through Nazi Zombies Call of Duty Five because that's what the how to is for. Maps, um, 
and whatever type of map that you want, either prototype, Varukt, Shinonuma, Deriz, mo uh, modded maps, beta maps, unfinished or broken. I'm going to do Deriz. I'm not really going to download anything. I'm just I'm just going to show you guys an example. Like, um, hmm. it's a pretty good example. How about Nuketown Zombies? Yeah, this this is this is the one that I'm pretty sure I downloaded. Same one. So all you do is just click this little download button. Take you to uh, media, media fire or something like that. Um, zombie modding will either do things in a .rar file or in a .exe file. If it's in a .rar file, you have to use a .rar program like WinRAR, the most famous one, I should say, or 7-zip, or something that has dot rar or that can use dot rar i prefer when rar because it's free forever um i don't I, i've never used 7-zip before and i don't ever want to use 7-zip i've always used i've always used when rar so um so yeah um you also want to take a look at the uh, megabytes of the file i'm told that if it's above um, if it's at least between 50 and 100 megabytes then it's a pretty decent map it's it's not that detailed but it's decent it's decent enough to play if it's at least 20 megabytes then it was half-assed if it's more than 100 megabytes then it's very well detailed I don't think I've seen a map or I've heard of a map that's a gig but that's how you do it. After you download, after you download the map, um, you you'd want to go to your downloads and open up your .rar or your .exe. If it's a .exe, all you do is double click it, and you basically follow the directions, and it'll upload automatically. If for some reason you run into a .rar file, this next step is for you. If you got if you if you got this done, then you're you're pretty much good, and you could like relax for a while. You know, just listen to some music. I'll let you know when to um, pay attention again. So, anyways, this next step is for rar people. Now, what you want to do. is um, go to your control panel go to appearance and personalization file explore options go to view and right here where it says hidden files and folders make sure that it's selected show hidden files folders and drives because there's a folder that you need to access. Not a lot of people say about this, and that's why I'm doing this video. You have to, you have to show this. So um, it has to be, has to be selected. All that. After that, you can close out a control panel and um, go to your your uh, PC or your computer. I'm using Windows 10, so ignore this Windows 8 C drive, and you you can see that I have a lot of space on this. I need to clear up, clear off a shit ton of space, to be honest. So um, all you do is go to your uh, your C drive, users, your name, app data if you could find it. Local, Activision, 
Call of Duty World of War or COD WoW and there should be a mods folder right here. If there's not a mods folder, you have to create one. Um, so yeah. And then all you do is drag this into this. If you have a readme file, don't drag the readme file, just drag this. If you have, if it doesn't, if it has like a bunch of things, then, um, I don't know what to say. I would suggest um, extracting it into one folder and then drag said folder into the mods. And as you can see, I already have two mods in here. So that's really that. So after that, you would want to start up the game. And I'm going to have to stop the video really quick so I could um, change the view really quick. Alright, the next step is very important. Uh, those who downloaded the, um, who did the .exe, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it, you, you guys got to pay attention now again. Sorry to disrupt your music or whatever, but you got you guys got to pay attention again. So anyways, the next step is very vital because if you don't do this next step, then you won't do or you won't be able to play the map and you'll look like a f complete fuck up. You got to go into your mods and select the mod that you want. Uh, for your .exe ones, it's, it's the same thing. Uh, except that the .exe basically installs it directly to the mod folder without having to extract it like he did with the with the dot rar so with the ones with the dot rar it's you're doing the same thing that the dot exe people do uh dot exe people you're doing the exact same that the dot rar people do uh, so you're selecting the map that you recently downloaded and i'm going to use this nazi zombie nuketown one as an example you have to press launch and it's going to restart the game so i will be right back really quick the game just restarted and if you're this far, then you're this close of playing your your map. Now, it might be different for a lot of people, because there'll either be a custom a custom uh, thing, because uh, uh, um, a lot of these custom maps will have like a custom main menu. All you have to do is just click play solo and do whatever. For the dot rar, no, not for the dot rar. For anybody else that are that is looking at the screen, all you have to do is bring up the console. And to do that, you got to do options and controls, game options, and make sure that your console is enabled. After you do that, go back all the way to the main menu, and underneath your escape key should be a little thingy. I'm not sure what it's called, but you got to press it. That usually brings up the console. You can do forward slash. You don't have to. But all you have to do is just type in map. And the name of the map. For example. My map. Nazi. Underscore. Zombie. Underscore. Nuketown. And it will load the map. You have to do it exactly how the mod says. And then. Once done correctly, once done exactly, I should say, you'll be able to play your new map. Now, if it doesn't work exactly, then you might have done something wrong, but that's exactly how I did it. So, if you guys did anything wrong and have any questions, I'll look into what happened what may have happened and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can uh, if you guys have any other questions any other stupid questions I may or may not do a stupid ass answer other than that I hope you guys enjoyed this little walkthrough or tutorial on how to install your zombie map I will be in fact playing this exact same zombie map um, if I hadn't had already uploaded it by now other than that, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.